nationwide mask mandate begins today. The CDC issuing new rules requiring anyone using public transportation to wear a face mask. The mandate went into effect overnight. Now, Ryan Jenkins is live at Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport with the rules that you need to know this morning. Ryan. Good morning. You know, face masks have been a priority for travelers for quite some time now. Some airlines and other travel operators like the Milwaukee County Transit System, for example, have had their own face mask requirements in place for quite some time. What's new this morning is that refusing to wear a face mask is now a violation of federal law. The airport even giving away free face masks this morning provided by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. They have different kiosks set up throughout the terminal offering these free packs of face masks. The director of the CDC this morning issuing a statement saying in part, quote, given how interconnected most transportation systems are across our nation and the world, when infected persons travel on public conveyances without wearing a mask and with others who are not wearing masks, the risk of interstate and international transmission can grow quickly. And the masks won't only be required at the airport, but also while riding on, boarding, disembarking or waiting at a public terminal or station for trains, buses, taxis, even rideshare services nationwide. This new rule applies to anyone ages two and up, and the mask must be fit snug over your nose and mouth. Now, there are some exceptions for people with ADA-defined disabilities, according to the CDC. This is all going to be enforced by the TSA, federal authorities, and also by cooperating state and local authorities. And you're going to want to make sure that you check the CDC's website to make sure that the the face mask that you wear meets the requirements if you're going to be using public transportation in the days ahead. The CDC's website saying things like scarves, face shields, bandanas will not meet the new requirements. Reporting live at the airport, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.